damaging night of storms. This video just in from Lawrence Street in Orlando, where a tree punctured the roof of this home. A limb, look at this, went through a light fixture in the bedroom. Nobody was hurt, but there is plenty of cleaning up to do. And it's not much better out on the streets. A viewer shot this video of flooding on 192 in St. Cloud. Tough going for drivers on a nasty night of weather across Central Florida. Here's another look from 192 in Tennessee Avenue. The water was all the way up to the headlights but still some people tried to push through it. And don't expect these storms to stop anytime soon. Check out the next line of heavy rains pushing into Florida right now. We could be in for a very wet few days. Good evening, I'm Lisa Bell. Good evening to you. I'm Eric Von Aiken in for Matt Austin tonight. So far, the storms have packed quite a punch. Hail, lightning, and gusty winds. And Osceola County was even under a tornado warning. Meteorologist Troy Bridges in for Tom has been here all night tracking the storms to keep you safe. He's pinpointing what to expect in the coming hours oh, now, yeah. Troy. You know that tornado warning just after 9 o'clock tonight did last until 9.45 for Osceola County. The big storm story, though, was that rain that came down. We had more than five, five inches of rain in parts of Osceola County. But look, it's still coming down. The good news is that severe threat is weakening, but we still have a good bit of lightning across central Florida. Showing you the lightning strikes now. Over the past half hour, more than 2,000, and there is more where that is coming from. You can see the lightning. Much of this now pushing out to sea off the coast of Brevard County, off the coast of Kennedy Space Center in that region, but inland from Titusville to Port Orange down to Rockledge, still pinpointing some moderate rain. The heaviest stuff in red, more than two inches an hour in some spots. South Patrick Air Force Base on down to Melbourne and then inland into areas like Holopa. We've seen a good bit of rain and then back north of there as we pinpoint more showers, even thunder showers for Lake County back up into Marion County. More will come and then this front will stall out and act as a focal point for more rain. But look at all the rain totals we've seen over the past six hours. The greatest amount, more than five inches there in Osceola County for St. Cloud back on down to Southport. That was the area that saw some hail up to quarter size possible from that tornado warning. And then you see more than an inch, close to two inches, even three inches in East Orange County that added up over the past six hours. More than three inches in Brevard County near Titusville. And then north and west of there in Lake County, we saw more than two inches of rain.